Pinch Punch, it's the first of the month, Tuesday the 1st of March. I'm FX Blue and this is the Market Brief. So the Bank of England has its work cut out. Uh, Despite their determination to bring inflation under control and the two rate hikes that we've had in consecutive MPC meetings, prices continue to rise. Now under normal conditions, the MPC would probably hold fire on a third rate hike to give time for the previous hikes to take effect and bed in. However, these are not normal conditions. The pace of inflation coupled with the tax rise and the increase to the energy cap that's pending mean that the bank doesn't have time to sit around and watch things bed in. The conflict in Ukraine has added further urgency to the situation as the price of oil hovers around 100 bucks a barrel. So a third rate hike in as many months? Well, it's certainly still on the table. Uh, The Russian economy is beginning to feel the effects of the sanctions as the West hits back on the financial front. Uh, The ruble has collapsed and individuals have been banned from foreign currency transactions. Bad time to be a Russian FX broker. Um, But domestic interest rates were doubled yesterday in an effort to stave off further speculation. This means that Russia is now rocking a casual 20% interest rate and there's a very real possibility that they'll be forced to default on their $475 billion foreign debt. Last time that happened was back in the late 90s and for what it was worth, it was caused at least in part by the cost of the war with Chechnya. You'd think they'd learn, but oh no, here we are, at war again. Fun fact for inflation fans, Inflation in Russia reached 84% following that default and devaluation of the ruble. And it was only really a spike in the oil price uh, that delivered a huge trade surplus and helped them out of that hole. But that was then, and this is now, and hopefully the sanctions are beginning to bite. Uh, With nothing major on the calendar, we can expect sterling to remain reactive to further developments today. Yesterday we recouped some of Friday's losses and we touched high of uh, of 134.30 against the dollar and we open around 119.85 against the euro this morning. Over in the US, the Atlanta Fed president has been on. He's considered a neutral Fed member, but he wants a 25 basis point rate hike when the, the Fed meet on March 16th. And that just serves to add to the wider view that his colleagues will vote for a 50 basis point hike as a more appropriate starting point. That will help catch up the curve and give the markets a firm uh, nod that the Fed is indeed serious about bringing inflation under control. Biden is due on today. He'll deliver the State of the Union address this evening. Um, While the the main focus is expected to be on domestic affairs, he will surely have plenty to say about Ukraine. Um, He has instructed the Treasury to stop Russia from defending the ruble and joint efforts are being made to ensure the Russian central bank cannot sell dollar, sterling, euro or yen to defend their currency. In the market, the dollar index steadied a little after the recent volatility we've seen. Uh, That fell to 96.65 yesterday. Uh, And euro dollar opens this morning around the 112 uh, 112 mark. Get my words out. Right, well, that's it from me today. Have a great day and do join me again tomorrow. If you do not have a clue, then just tweet through and ask FX Blue.